All right, uh, time for you to fly. A pilot who flies Ember Air jets points out that on his uh, aircraft, the engines won't shut down via the cutoff switches unless specific logic is met, like thrust levers at idle. He finds it alarming that a modern aircraft like the 787 might not have a similar error prevention logic. Can you explain the design philosophy behind the 787's fuel control switch system that uh, and why it uh, might differ? That's actually a, a great observation. And that might be something that Boeing or GE looks at down the road to help prevent something like this from happening again. Certainly the conversation that we're having about it now is important to kind of push that narrative along. The only thing I would say about the Ember Air that I don't like in that system is this. Let's say I'm on short final coming into land. I'm all configured. I got the gear down. I got the flaps down. I'm about two or three minutes away from touching down and I get an engine fire on one of my wings or one of my uh, engines and I've got to shut that fire off right away. I want the engine to shut down immediately. I don't want to have to wait until some air logic thing figures it all out and 10 or 15 seconds later, it decides that the engine is going to shut down. I want to have that control. Now, having said that, this thing that happened with Air India 171 would be the exception to that rule. So I'm, I'm all for looking into this, but you know, maybe there is something that they can put into the, uh, the air logic that would help prevent something like this from happening again. That's a good insight. All right, Kate Bat 7538 says this, if this was a deliberate act, why would the pilot make a mayday call? Psychologically, that seems like a very strange thing to do. Furthermore, how do investigators know that the physical switches were in the cutoff position versus the flight data recorder simply recording a signal uh, to cut off fuel, which could have been caused by an electrical fault. This wasn't caused by an electrical fault. Um, those are mechanical switches that get placed in the position and the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder are very detailed uh, bits of information, right? They're going to tell, they're, they're going to show you that they were actually placed in that position and then placed back into that position. It's not just the electronic signal that they're sending out. Um, the Air India pilots went into the simulator and tried to duplicate this by a total electrical failure and they couldn't simulate a dual engine failure. So that's most likely not it. Uh, but this, you know, and again, there's two pilots in the cockpit. One of them most likely did the fuel cutoff and the other made the mayday call. So why would the one cutting it off make a mayday call? Yeah, you're right. That doesn't make any sense. But there are two pilots in that cockpit. I'm thinking the other pilot made the mayday call. Good question. Pavelote writes this. The fuel switches don't operate the valves directly. They uh, instruct the aircraft's computer system, the ECAM, to do so. That is correct. 